What is going on, guys? Welcome back. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm so excited. Commentary for you. Little different video. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. You also know Weeble. I'm a preferred influencer. If you click that link, open an account. They're going to give you free fractional shares. Deposit just a dollar. They will give you even more free shares. Sam Ellinger is the NFL quarterback of the Indianapolis Colts. And I'm telling you, I was a huge Jacob Beeson fan. I really thought... I've got a whole stack of Jacob Beeson graded cards that are worthless because I thought he was going to have all the tools necessary, but I got to tell you, Sam Ellinger is basically everything you would want in a starting quarterback. You know, grew up in the heart of football, Texas, overcame the loss of his father at an early age, but continued to work towards his goal of becoming a football player, overtook the starting role in his high school team where he dominated broke multiple records despite missing time his senior year and played at one of the more illustrious high schools in Texas, then went on and had that childhood dream of being a Texas Longhorn fulfilled. And his first year leads the team in rushing and passing despite not starting every game. His second year just as impressive and balanced. And he completes his final season, second in college history, in passing yards for them. And there's a lot of names that have came out of Texas. You know, he wasn't really projected a high draft pick, but I think if you look at the tools, he has the leadership through adversity. He's played in some of the most competitive environments. You know, he cited that being drafted was one of the happiest days of his life, but unfortunately, you know, after he was drafted, he lost his brother, who was also a Texas football player. So you see the, the leadership instilled even there. Goes out, preseason games. I think last year against the Panthers really showed what he was capable of doing. He gets injured last year and works through it and honestly had to fight for a roster spot this season. Six-round picks aren't guaranteed on a team. And now here he is, injury or not, taking over for Matt Ryan. And this, to me, just seems like the way things are supposed to be. You know, I've heard for so many years as a Colts fan, you know, we were going to pay for the way we got Andrew Luck. You know, tanking the season out, if that's what really happened, who knows? But the reality is, since Andrew Luck's injury, there's been a revolving door of quarterbacks, some of which aren't capable of even Manning an NFL roster. No pun intended. See what I did there, Manning? Anyway, with that said, I really do hope this is a great weekend for Colts football. This is really, to me, the type of player that we needed. A player that we drafted, a player that obviously did need to work on some things. His arm strength has kind of been a question, and, and apparently they've addressed this and they've worked on it while he was injured. He's came back apparently stronger than ever. This is the type of quarterback I really feel that can come to some out of nowhere and establish themselves as a quality player for the rest of the season, and then going forward, who knows? He does have all the tools necessary as far as a leadership standpoint, a play standpoint, don't really know because we haven't seen enough at the NFL level if the mental is there. I imagine it is, but honestly, if you guys want to tune into the Colts game this weekend, hopefully this will become an important start, not only for Sam, but also for the Colts to help get this franchise back on track. I honestly feel like this is exactly what we needed. And not only that, he'll have the benefit of a veteran quarterback like Matt Ryan on the bench to help lead him, help understand what he's going through as a rookie, and then obviously push forward. Uh, not really as a rookie, but I think you understand his rookie start, if you will. Help him push through and understand what he needs to do. Probably build off those young weapons we have and obviously rely on one of the greatest run games in the NFL right now. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. You know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.